Hello everyone, my name is Kim. Welcome back to the Days Gone Let's Play. Today, we are going to go take out some more motherfucking hordes. Because... I want to take out the rest of the hordes before we do the final mission. I, what I assume to be one of the final missions, or potentially the final mission. Um, which is filling this truck with grease out. <clears throat> and bringing a fight down on the militia bastards. Because they're a-holes. But we're going <clears> to... <throat> we're going to... Uh, we're going to take out some hordes first. I know I said I wasn't going to do much horde fighting on camera, but I really, really, really want to get through all the hordes before we do this mission, just in case it's the last mission. I know I can get a lot of it done, and that just sounds fun to me. Try to do as many of the hordes as I can and potentially finish them off before we do this final mission. Potentially final mission, I should say. Um, but what it, it's got to be in close. We can't be that far off. Damn it. It's a screamer. From the final mission, you know what I mean? Like, fighting the militia and getting her back are probably going to be the last two-ish missions, two two or so missions. So I'm like, okay, we're going to fight the militia, and then we're probably going to go get Sarah back, and then that's going to be it, you know what I mean? Like, I don't see much more after that. So I'm like, okay, the minute we finish this fucking ho or this fight against them, that's probably going to be next to the last mission. We're going to go get Sarah, and then we're going to be done. Most likely is how I see it going. So, More bounties. I, I figure I might as well... I might as well come in and try to finish some of the hordes before we do anything else. This makes more sense to me. To, to try to do the entirety of Horde Killer before before we uh, finish this off. Alright, it's got to be here, right? I have... Okay, I was like, why is it saying I have very little... Okay. It is, in fact, here. I have Molotovs I can craft. I can't craft those ones. Oh, I can craft those ones. One. Great. We're gonna save that one. This horde don't look too big. I spoke too soon. Maybe. Did I not make one of those? I thought I did. I guess not. Do I have a focus cocktail by chance? I don't. We're gonna use that fucking stand roll now. Shit, bro. Fuck this, man. What? Okay, no. What the fuck? That was a very, very tough horde. I'm going to have to go get my food here in a minute because I have Hot Pockets making my air fryer. I don't want them to burn. That was actually not that hard of a horde. I was expecting it to be worse. Honestly, I was. So we'll run in here. We'll go grab all the freaker ear things. We'll see if there's anything to grab in here further in, which there probably won't be. But I also don't really know. Doesn't look like it. Alright, map. Okay, missions. 
I'm gonna go mark another one. We're gonna stop at Iron Mike's first. Go get some more ammo and supplies, and then we'll go to that horde. Um, as long as I have enough ammo, I think I should be fine. I, I like that horde. Oof. Oh, excuse me. Like, like that horde was not easy, but the fact that we had the Chicago chopper kind of gave me a lot of ammo. Um, it, it has a huge ammo capacity and it gave me a very big help going into that to actually, you know, go through it and get all that done. What do I need? Hold up. What do I need for a stamina co or for a focus cocktail? I need mushrooms. Okay. Let's make some health cocktails. I don't know what all I'm going to need for that final fight. And I really want to try to like, this is also kind of my, my time to potentially, hopefully get a lot of like materials and such, um, to help us going into the final fight. So that way, hopefully when we go into it, we're a little bit more prepared. We have a little bit more, um, supplies ready to go and stuff like that. So I have hopefully, um, better chances of surviving. Kill that dude. So yeah. So, um, this is probably going to be mostly a gearing up episode for that for that mission, most likely. Um, I don't like doing just gear up episodes. You guys know that. I, I hate those types of episodes. It feels like it's a filler episode, which it is. I mean, this episode was going to be probably a filler episode regardless because I knew I didn't want to do the mission yet because there's a lot I want to get done in this game before we do the final mission. Um, but I also don't, don't really want to just be doing a filler episode. I hate doing filler episodes. Um, unless I can actually say like, okay, there's a good reason for me doing this filler episode. I don't want to do them, but I'm going to use this one as an opportunity to get a bunch of healing stuff ready to go, try to get through a few hordes and, uh, yeah, hopefully next episode or so we'll have enough supplies and we'll be able to go into that fight. <laughs> Fucking bullshit. Look at this. This will be good. We'll, we'll get a lot of supplies done and we'll pick a bunch of stuff up, get supplied up for a bit, and uh. Oh, fuck, now I need sterilizers? God damn it. Never fucking need the things until now. Fucking, fucking full on them. Start making this shit. Oh, now I need sterilizers. Awesome. I bet you the shit in here to pick up is sterilizers. <laughs> Aw, oh, damn it. Spark Igniter. I mean, that's still a good thing to have. I'm not going to say the Spark Igniter is not going to be useful. I know it will be. Um, but damn, I was really hoping that would be a sterilizer. Uh, what do we got there? Uh, poly... Ooh, polystyrene. That's for that, right? Yeah, it is. Still can't make any of that because I don't have any sterilizers. That's, that's fun. Yeah, um, I've realized as you get further into this game, though, it's harder to get all of this shit. Like, you have a lot of really good stuff unlocked that you can craft, but you also have a lot more trouble getting what you need to actually unlock said things, or to craft said things, which I guess is kind of like double-edged sword, you know? You're, you've got more things that you can craft, but you also have less available materials to craft it. Which, I mean, I guess makes sense. That's kind of how it's going to be once you get further. Like, anything you're doing, if you get further into it like this, you're that's what's going to happen. Like, in real life, if this was a real-life situation right now, the further you get into it, the harder it's going to be to find these sorts of things. So it's very realistic in that situation. The gas isn't a very realistic situation, but... Again, I'll talk shit on IGN about this, but they're... Their, their thing about how they talk shit about how it doesn't always take the gas, the needing gas mechanic into effect. It's like, yeah, but like the further you get into this, gas is only good for so long. I think that's what, like, it, it's amazing to me that IGN just doesn't, didn't think about that part of it. Like, oh yeah, this gas is completely fine. It's not like they're going to be running on mostly just fumes. 
Like, the gas is on fumes, man. Like, it's not going to be good gas by the point in time when most of the this game is going on. So it's very... Very obvious... That when they made that review, they didn't really want to focus on it completely because they talked shit on it, but they didn't completely focus on it. Like, don't get me wrong, the gas mechanic is kind of dumb, but it's not dumb for the reason they listed. They listed it as, oh, it's dumb because they don't always use it. It's not always effective, you know, it's not always needed. Sometimes it doesn't even, they don't even think about it and they just have a spot where you don't need gas. No, the problem is, the, the issue with it is that they don't take into account the fact that gas is not going to be as good as you go further into, like, just it's sitting there for so long. Gas gets changed. Gas has to be replaced. Gas has to be... You can't just... You know, if you have a, a car that's sitting with gas in it for like a year and a half, the minute you go to start that, it's not going to be good gas anymore. You're going to need to put more gas in because that's just how it is. It's how it works. It's how gas is. It goes bad, technically speaking. And like, if you're not... If you're not replacing that gas, which it's not getting replaced because nobody's delivering gas in the apocalypse then you are screwed there's no good gas you're gonna need gas more often which this game kind of ignores that fact and ign kind of ignored it during their the review if i remember, as far as i remember like no dude you're gonna need more gas as you go into this like you're gonna need more and more and the gas you have is going to get you for less and less distances because you're going to be running bad gas. You're going to be running mostly on fumes. Um, like for the most part, you'll be on fumes. I, I think they wanted to make a point about how the game developers who aren't a very big studio from what I know of, from what I've heard at least, they, they, they're probably bigger than I'm giving them that I'm saying, you know, they're not like a a two developer fuck it you know it's not like two people develop this game it's a team it's a big team but they're also not as far as i know like a, a large developer like insomniac or fucking activision or some shit like that you know what i mean so it's like yeah give them give them some credit they put a lot of work in this they fucked some shit up but for the most part they did really good work like the game looks beautiful the mechanics all work fairly well especially the one for the gas i think that mechanic works incredibly well honestly i really do i think ign just wanted to bitch about a fun game and now i'm bitching about ign because i don't like ign i do not like them it their reviews don't make sense a lot of the time it, it's the fact that they gave this game a very a very unfair low rating in my opinion but gay and, and I brought this up when I was talking about it. I talked about this a long ass time ago. But when they reviewed this game, they gave it a very low rating for some very stupid reasons. But gave GTA like a five star rating. And it's like, dude, GTA is a good game. Like, don't get me wrong, GTA 5 is a pretty good game. But I don't think it's five star worthy. I, I, I think maybe three or four stars would be a more apt rating. I don't know why I'm talking about this again, but it's just the way it is. It's it's very dumb to me. Very, very dumb to me that uh, they, they gave it such a high rating for GTA. Because it's like, dude, it's GTA. It's not changing the formula that they've been... The only thing that changed their formula was that they put in hey Blair, more people. The they, didn't, they didn't have okay. anything different to that game. Like, they didn't have huge, different fucking... Um, no, that's an upgrade. single player mode, okay. like, you know, it's still the yep, basic nice. single player that we've yep. always had in GTA. You uh, know what I mean? Choice. It's not anything yeah, different. Good. This uh, game yep. isn't, to, hey. to me at least, this game is not just hey, Deke. another, oh. god damn it's a lot. Okay, hold on. To me this game isn't just another fucking, got some ears here. Okay. um, that's the word I'm looking for. It isn't just another survival game. You know, this has differences to it compared to, like... If you look at this compared to, like, Seven Days to Die or... 
Good to see you, State of Decay, hey, boss. or like. You go through a lot of this shit, yeah. I'll be here. What else could I compare this to? See you around. Um, Dead Island, Dead Rising. Fuck, I play a lot of survival games. Fuck, you could even look at Resident Evil. Like, this game has a lot of differences, and it does things different than all of those games do. This isn't just another survival game. GTA V, at the end of the Sorry, day, no is just another GTA game. Like, there's differences, yeah, but not much. And that's what bugs me, is they give that game, which wasn't trying to do anything different, a high rating when they took this game. And give it a low rating, which pull my <clears throat> air fryer basket out so my fucking hot pockets can cool a little bit before I go grab them. Alright. But this game is really fun. Like, I love this game. I don't hate the fact. Like, I don't enjoy the fact that there's some things that don't make sense, realistically. But, like, I'm not looking for a game with ultra-realism. Like, I'm looking for a game that does what it says it's gonna do. Is this a game where you have fun killing zombies and kind of building up a settlement? Sort of, yeah. Is it a game that I'm expecting to be like, Oh, well, you have to stop every five minutes for gas because the gas is terrible and you're burning through a lot of it to do these runs. No, I'm not expecting that. Me, because I'm a badass. You know what I mean? Like, I'm not expecting it to be super ultra realistic where you're doing all this work and you have to continuously, every five seconds, stop and refill up your bike. No, it's. I'm expecting it to be what it is. It says, hey, there's a gas mechanic. Is it realistic? Not entirely. They, they have it as realistic as they can to where it's still enjoyable. I think the fact that. That IGN looks at it and says, oh, well, they try to go for the realism, but they do it in a really odd way, because sometimes the gas matters and sometimes the gas doesn't. It's like, yeah, but I like the fact that it matters. Like, I like the fact that they have that, because here's the thing. In Grand Theft Auto, you don't have to worry about gas, but it makes no sense, because technically you should have to with how much, especially with part of that story being stealing cars. You should technically, at some point, have to do something with gas. I don't like the fact that there's gas stations in-game, but you never do anything with it. You don't have to go stop at a gas station to fill up your cars. You just... They're just magically always full. And on top of that, we can even look at the, fu the fact that, even further into this... It's, it's cool to have that, because you know in a realistic situation, if there was something like this, you'd have to find some way to fuel your vehicles. Any fun staring at me, weirdo? Because I don't think anyone expects there to be perfect fuel levels. I certainly don't. If a situation like this happens, I have no idea how I'm getting across places. I don't have a vehicle that would work well in that situation. I've seen a lot of options. Doing a swap for your gas to have multi a multi-fuel engine, which is the idea I'm thinking about going with. But it's not super cheap. I've also seen doing solar power view a solar powered electric vehicle, which is also not very cheap. Not to mention, if you don't have enough backup energy, and let's say it's doing what it's doing right now, if you're in a place like the Pacific Northwest, or if you're in, like, somewhere in the Northeast where it rains and or snows, or both, a lot, you have to find a way to keep that charge up on days when the sun isn't out, and that is going to be an issue at times. I think... I think it'd be cool if this game, but this game isn't built for that. That's not what this game is about. This game is about enjoying the open road on your bike, killing zombies, trying to get back to the person you love. But I think it, it's a cool idea to think about. Like, okay, what if this game did go the extra mile? You know what I mean? Made it to where, okay, how would you want to do your vehicle to make sure that you have a proper way to keep your, your vehicle running? during this because this gas is going to be bad. I would love it if they had a, 
a, a method for that. Like, they had a plan. Like, okay, you know what I mean? Especially with Deacon being a mechanic and everything like that. You would think he'd know, okay, at some point this gas is not going to be good anymore. I need to find some way to to change the fuel over and make sure my bike is going to continuously be fueled no matter what I do. I would have loved an aspect of that in this game. Do I need it, though? Hell no. I like the idea of just having it be simple. Of having it be, okay, you need gas. That's how you're going to keep your, your vehicle running. Go get some gas. Figure out how you're going to fuel it up, run it for as long as you can, and then go get more when you need it. I like that idea. It's it's much simpler, but it also works within what they're trying to tell as a story. You know, they're not trying to tell this is a guy who's been super uber prepared for this for his entire life. This is a guy who unluckily fell into a bad time in this, is unfortunately stuck dealing with the issues of this and trying to find his loved ones and making sure they're all okay and stuff like that. I, I think what's really nice about this is that they don't paint it like they're trying to go for an ultra-realistic survival mentality sort of game. They're going for a game where you kind of know what's going to happen. You, you know that there's going to be some issues for what you can do, but that they also really just kind of give you the ability to enjoy. I love the way Sony Ben made this game. I love the fact that they don't expect you to go super ultra realistic for it. They don't go into in depth of, okay, well at some point gas is going to stop working properly. Gas is just going to mostly be fumes. It's going to be going bad. You're not going to be able to either A, use it at all to, to move, or B, you're not going to be able to... to, um, what's the word I'm looking for? To get very far on it. Um, I like the fact that they didn't take that route because while it's nice and it's a cool thought to think about, like, it's really cool to have that, that idea, that mentality be there. I also really like the idea that it's just like, okay, who cares? Gas works somehow in this world. You know, it's a video game. You don't need to take it so seriously, but you can also really enjoy the fun things they do with it. And I like the fact that they made the gas be a necessity. It's kind of cool. I really enjoy it, actually. I, I know I'm probably in the mon minority with that, but, like, it is something I do enjoy with this game. Having to actually fill, fill up the bike makes it feel more realistic to me. And I will say, I do understand why, why GTA doesn't have that mechanic. Okay? I fully understand it. Before I even try to say, well, this is the reason GTA doesn't have that mechanic. I understand why they don't have it. Okay? I fully understand why GTA doesn't have that mechanic. Do I enjoy the fact that they don't have it? Yeah, I do. I'm 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 sounding hypocritical, but yes. I do in fact enjoy the fact in, or I do in fact enjoy that they don't have that mechanic because it would suck in GTA. GTA you spend so much time driving. This game this game it works for because you don't spend so much time driving as you do in that game. Hold up. We need to go to the next one, which we're going to go over this Domain one. Domain has been completed over the Pan Pacific Railroad, and trains can be rerouted through Nero Depot Site 27. We can transport cargo along the old wagon road with far greater efficiency. Side note, we'll need to have a director pay a visit to the mayor of the shithole town below us, Marion Wartz, or whatever the hell it is. According to our foreman, he basically led a mob up here yesterday, threatened our personnel, said he was going to par and feather them, whatever that means. Off the record, if he knew what was coming, he wouldn't be so high and mighty. Within a week after the first case of rabies, he'll be out here begging us to dig faster. Damn. Oh, sure. After. When the hordes started coming in, maybe not so much. Alright, let's see what else we can find in this area. I'm gonna try to get as much as I can for materials. 
Sorry this video is coming out kind of late, by the way, guys. I closed today. Um, my first time actually closing by myself with, well, not by myself, but my first time closing with me being the uh, manager on duty. Uh, again, if you guys didn't watch my videos the past couple days, I did get uh, a promotion. Um, I'm now lead sales associate at Dollar General that I work at, and uh, yeah, it was nerve wracking, man, to to close like that. It was just, it was very, very terrifying. But like, I don't know. My my boss believed in me. My boss thought I I, I was gonna do fine, and I did. I ended up doing okay. Um, I'm sure I'm sure I'll get yelled at for something tomorrow. <laughs> I'm sure there'll be some issue they find tomorrow when when they go into open. <laughs> that tends to be how it goes. Uh, you think you did fine, and then, oh, hey, you fucked up here. Shit like that, and yeah. That, that, that tends to be how it goes. You you think you did great, you're, everything's on point and, um, and proper, and it adds up properly, and then they go to do it in the morning, and then, oh, hey, you fucked up. You fucked up here, you fucked up here, and you fucked up here. <sighs> oh, excuse me, I'm I'm waiting for it to happen. Like I'm waiting just to get a text like, hey, you messed up here. I wonder what happened to her folks. I wonder if that's why I didn't have that one hundred percented yet for that mission set. I swear, if that's why, like I'm missing random shit from this fucking town about Lisa, I'm gonna be so fucking livid. We're just gonna kind of run around, and do some uh, resource gathering. We don't have much time left. That's why, for those of you wondering, by the way, I will say I will just kind of go around and resource gather when we're in like a few minutes left, and I don't really want to go try to start something that I don't think I'm gonna be able to finish before the time runs out. <laughs> Souvenir. Nice, nice, nice. Getting more collectibles and shit unlocked, which is always, always fun for me. More random shit over here. Yeah, I'm curious, though, for, for the rest of you who are in this audience that may also be preppers of some type. Um, ah, guy my face. What, what, what do you guys plan to do for a vehicle situation further into the future um you know if if something does if shit does hit the fan and and something like this does happen which again it probably won't or whatever happens will probably just end all life as we know it completely uh just just nobody will survive and that will be that but if something along the lines of what's happening in this game does in fact happen in real life what would you guys prefer your type of vehicle to be would you do some sort of solar powered car type thing like uh jerry rig everything would you do a swap out for a multi-fuel engine like what they have over in the military for like in the desert when gas is not as readily available so you can use things like vegetable oil regular oil diesel um i'm, I'm not sure what else you can use over there uh, use for that i have to look up more about it but i know you can use basically most things can power that car. I don't know for sure what all, but there's a lot. It, it's kind of a random assortment of shit that you can just kind of use to, to power the V or to, to have to fuel the vehicle. And I love that fact. Like it's something, it's something I never would have thought of until like this last year when I kind of started thinking about, I should probably get prepping better. Cause you know, it's to that point, like, it feels like we're getting to a point where that's a necessity at this at, at this current juncture because of the way the world is kind of falling apart every fucking day um so i told myself i'm like straight up i'm like i might do that it's, it's something i've legit thought about is taking a old beaten down bus and just engine swapping it so it can have a multi-fuel engine in it which is going to cost a fuckload, but it's hopefully going to be worth it. And then having that as a bug out vehicle, man, like it's, it's a good, in, in my eyes, it's a good idea. It's kind of a cheaper option. I would say at least it looks like a cheaper option than doing the solar powered thing. But let me know what you guys think down in the comments below. If you happen to be a prepper or if it's something you've not really thought about, but now we're kind of thinking about, I will see you guys in the next episode. Stay golden. Peace.